everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be working on the Spotify plaque. This is something you can make for Valentine's Day since it's coming up. It's really simple and easy to do. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is just go into Google and go into your Spotify account. Here I have it saved already, so we could just go right into it. Now you're gonna find whatever song it is that you want to use. In my case, I want to use Glass Mansion by Elefante. I'll be going over here and right where these three dots are, we're going to click share and we're going to copy song link. Now it's copied to a clipboard. Now we're going to go into another website called spotifycodes.com. Here we go right into where it says Spotify URL and we just paste. Now we can click get Spotify codes and we will have our code. And something great about this is that right here, you can choose what color you want it to be. And what's awesome is that in the format, you can download it as an SVG already, so you don't have to do anything with it after. So I'm going to click SVG, the color is white, and now we can download. Now I'm going to go into Cricut here, and I already opened a new project. I'll be going to Upload, Upload Images, Browse. And it should be in downloads so yeah downloads here spotify code and you can see it's already an svg so i don't need to clean it up or do anything i just need to upload it now i'm going to click on it to enter and it looks a little weird but all you have to do is just remove the background here and i scroll down and right here right on the bottom right corner you can see this is the black bar we're just going to delete that so i'm going to enter a shape that's the size of my acrylic plate and that would be 5 by 7. Something like this. And so that way I know how big I can make everything. So if you go into Spotify Codes SVG, you can find a lot of templates that you can use. You can always make your own as well. But there's a lot of things that are free online. I think I have one from when I made a Spotify Code a long time ago. And the Spotify code thing was one of the first projects that I made, so I'll be using this one here. And if you want to use the same one I did, I'm going to add it to my Facebook page. So go check that out. I'm just going to make it smaller. And I'll be changing the color to black, and this one will go here. So something's going on with the little circle here. I don't understand why it's um, blacking out two lines. And if I contour, it doesn't really do anything. So that's a little strange. Luckily, I think I also have another one of those codes. And here is the code. I also have it on my Facebook page if you guys need it. And here it is. So I'm just going to hover it over on the top. Something like this. Now over here in my group, I can delete that black blob. And I'm going to move this for a little bit just so I can select everything and group it all together. That way it doesn't move and we can change everything to black. So here we go. So I want to do the code in the bottom and this on top like that. And then here is where your picture can go. And on from here you can enter your picture that you want to use. So I'll be uploading a picture that me and my boyfriend took on a recent trip to Vegas. We went to a really cool ice bar. And with the VIP package, it included the fur coat and a picture, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to enter it and we don't need to do anything. Just hit apply and continue. And save it as a print and cut image. Now I'm just going to add it to my canvas. And you can change the size here. If you want to crop out a little bit of the background, just enter a like rectangle and crop out the size that you want or I did see a trick how you can just go into operations here and click score and now it just shows the outline so you can move it around and see exactly how it's going to be something like this and now we can just slice and keep what we wanted so now this we could just delete and our picture can go right here. Almost done, we still need to add the name of the song, so just go into text, 
and we're gonna enter glass mansion don't make it too small because then it'll be really hard to weed out so make it a comfortable size and click again and we're gonna enter elefante This is looking good. I'm just gonna move the background and make sure that everything's centered, except for the letters here. And there you have it. This is basically how it's going to look. You can always add more text and time and include the time, but just remember it's going to be very small and probably really hard to weed out. So I'm not gonna include any numbers, but you can add as much detail as you like. If you want to know, I just left the text in Cricut Sans. I feel that's really close to the Spotify fonts already, so I'm happy with that. But if you want to cut everything out together, you could just attach it. And now if you move it around, it won't separate anymore. And what I'm going to do is hide this part. I don't need it anymore. It's also a good idea to check your code. So for that, you're going to need your phone. And we're just going to go into Spotify here. And right in the search, we go to the camera. And in the camera, it says point your camera at a Spotify code. So that's what we do. And it works right away. And we can move on to make it. Here in make it, we have to print out our picture. And then also in our second map, we have the whole writing and everything in one piece. So it'll cut out all together and not move. So here I'm sending my picture to my printer and I'm not going to use the bleed but I will use system dialogs just to make sure I can get the best quality. In my preferences I'll be using glossy paper so I'm just going to select the photo paper and best quality. This is the sticker vinyl I'll be using and I'm just going to load it up and get my picture. So I need a piece that's 5x3 so this is definitely big enough. And now we can just load this up. So here I just removed the insides of the letters, if you know what I'm talking about, like all those inside spaces. Just because if you try to weed it out, it's really hard to do. It's just going to give you a hard time. I don't suggest you try. So what we could do is just leave it like this and I cut off the edges here so I can know at least like how symmetrical it can look. And I'll be grabbing a large piece of transfer tape. And I like to have the lines just so I can line it up with the stencil here and it can be as straight as possible. And so we place it just like this. And we want to lift up the clear piece but leave the black, all of the black behind. Just like that. And I added the cover back to my mat here, but I like to just use this as a grid for me. So I'll be removing one side first. And I have my code. I'm gonna fix it straight, and we're just gonna place it as even as possible right here. And now from here, we can remove the transfer tape and the black vinyl, and it'll just leave behind all the little pieces. And I actually forgot the inside of this, so we could just remove it. Just careful, don't scratch it. And also here, this little piece got left behind. Here we go. And our tape here, we can just get rid of this and save the tape for next time. Here is the picture I printed out, and I'm just going to be laminating this so it looks a little bit better. And these are the ones I use. And now I can go ahead and cut out my picture. And once you have your picture laminated and cut out, we can just apply it right on the top here and finish off our project. And this is what the plaque looks like. Of course, you can change um, the colors. You can add a collage of pictures. You could really just make this your own. 
And my acrylic bangs came with these diamond holders, which I really like. It goes just like that and it holds it perfectly. These I did buy separately, but it also works. Just like that as well. It's up to you what you want to use. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.